Hey everybody, it's Brian from Summit Racing here and here to talk about one of my favorite subjects which is engine building tools. Uh, we have two new ring filers on the market uh, that are just awesome and each of them for their own reason. We have the Pro Ring Filer uh, which is motorized, it's, it's the table action is superb. Uh, I've used a lot of ring filers and it's just it makes quick work of, of everything. Now we wanted to have that same action uh, on a less expensive model. So the first thing that we could do to try to save you money is we remove the motor and we remove our indicator off that. You could still use an optional indicator if you want, but instead we power it with your handy drill. Everybody has a drill at home and you know, if we can save you some money this way, what you get is all the fine action of this and all the accuracy of this, but you get it uh, for less than $300. Uh, even with the indicator on there, which is a $20 uh, indicator that we sell, uh, you know, you're still going to be into it for maybe $320, $330. Bucks. Made in the USA, the attention to detail on them is just phenomenal. On top of that, we've got 120 volt versions. We've got 220 volt versions for our friends overseas that use 220 standard. We've got different colors. We've got red, we've got blue, we've got black, white, silver. So with that, we'll go ahead and get things turned on here and uh, go to town. Okay, one thing I want to point out is, you know, attaching the drill to the machine, very, very uh, basic and straightforward. Just prop it up with something that you got laying around in your garage. The other thing I'll note on this one is this particular drill has a trigger lock, uh, which is nice, you know, makes things nice and easy. Uh, some do not have a trigger lock, in which case it's not the end of the world. Just grab some duct tape uh, or uh, a zip tie or something like that and uh, lock that dude wide open throttle and uh, get ready to proceed with ring filing heaven. Okay, so I bolted up our optional dial indicator. Again, it's another 21 bucks, but you know, what's cool is, you know, it just makes it super fast. You're not gonna have to go do a lot of back and forth. That being said, if you take a look over on the left-hand side here, this piston looking knob of ours has some very intentional grooves cut down here, and those are in 2000 increments. So if you actually just wanna make a little bit of a mark, you can actually count without an indicator you know, what it's gonna to take to move the table uh, 10 thousandths. So with that, we'll go ahead and uh, we've got a diamond dressing tool in here. We're gonna go ahead and true up this wheel. Uh, and then after that, we'll, we're gonna go ahead and remove that. And I'm gonna show you the process for basically clocking uh, the ring to make sure that you're going across the uh, ring face perfectly. The other thing I'll note is with this table design, what's super cool is it goes completely you know, down uh, across the face of the grinding wheel. And what that does is it keeps it from getting highs and low spots, which makes the work uh, less accurate. So lots of cool little features on this thing. And once you start using it, you're gonna see all the really tasty goodness that we've built into it. Okay, so I've uh, moved it around a little bit. You can see the di diamond dressing tool that we have in here is just, you know, simply clamped down. Uh, I've walked the table back so it's not making contact. All I'm gonna do now is basically start the drill, lock it in position, and start moving this uh, back and forth and slowly walk the uh, table in towards the grinding wheel. And then what I'm doing here is I'm listening. I wanna hear a steady pitch uh, as you go across this, uh, this face here. And once I've achieved that, we'll know that that wheel is true. Okay, with that, uh, it felt really good, and you can see here across the surface uh, that it's nice and uniform. Um, it's got a little bit of dust on it right now, but you get the idea. So once you've done that, you're not gonna have to do it again. These wheels will last a very, very, very long time. We do sell replacement wheels, but you're not gonna need to go get in a diamond wheel or anything crazy like that. Uh, so next step is we're gonna go ahead and show you how to mount the ring in the table. All right, everybody, I have one of Summit's new GPX uh, gas-ported ring sets here. Uh, and what we're going to do is now just go ahead and load it in, in the machine and make the adjustments to make sure that I have this part of the gap here as square and in parallel to the wheel as I possibly can uh, out of the gate. So really, really simple. Um, I've got this knob basically positioned. I already kind of 
cheated a little bit, but this, you basically just loosen that up and you can slide it in and out. And so it accommodates anything from a very, very small ring to a very, very large ring. And uh, I've got just a little bit of the ring uh, gap out there sticking out past the table. Uh, so what that's doing is, uh, A, notice here that it's an awesome clamp. That thing is not coming loose. Um, it's clocked in there. It's very, very sure. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and run it across the face of the uh, grinding wheel a couple times and uh, you know just verify that yes indeed everything looks nice and square and then we will go ahead and you know uh, finish off with the rest of the material we need. Um, in this case we might use these in a turbo engine for instance where we're looking for say a 23,000 sen gap and I'm starting off with something closer to 11. So with that I will go ahead and fire up the machine and make a couple test passes. All right, so now we were just starting to get a little bit of touch down there on the face of the ring. It's gonna be very, very hard for you to see this, uh, but it is very, very nice and even all the way across the face of that. So basically what I've done is I reloaded our ring, re-zeroed it to make sure it was just barely contacting the wheel, and I basically set our indicator, zeroed it up, and we're gonna go ahead and get the thing revved up again. I'm gonna go ahead and take another 10 thousandths and just see uh, where that gets me in my test bore fancy test for. So here we go. And just like that, 10 thousandths worth of material removed. We're gonna go ahead and take it off, see how it looks in the bore, and uh, just touch it up here and there. But quick and easy work. I mean, you're gonna go through a V8 engine you know, very quickly with this. You know, it's got plenty of wheel speed with an average drill. It is just a gem of a tool. The last time I had the ring in there, uh, I had 10 thousandths worth of gap, and my goal was 23. So I basically zeroed uh, the indicator again at zero, walked it out another uh, 13 thousandths, I put it back in the bore, and as you can see here, it is a perfect 23 thousandths, and on top of that, it is absolutely parallel. Uh, again, you know, it's not tighter towards the inside or the outside, so just a, a really nice looking ring, and very proud of the machine. It's a great machine, definitely the best value out there. Okay, so we know that the USA one was, you know, definitely a, a, a great ring filer, especially for the money, uh, just a huge value. Now we're gonna move up to the Pro model. This one is my favorite, it is cherry red. It is the most gorgeous ring filer I've ever seen. Uh, and when you get this thing brand new out of the box, you're going to uh, dress uh, the wheel uh, with this diamond tool that comes with it. The indicator, uh, as opposed to the other one where the indicator was optional, this is included and it's all comes in assembled just like this right out of the box. We're gonna go ahead and dress the wheel and then I'm gonna to proceed to take about 10 thousandths off that other ring. As you can see, or you can't see for, from your angle there, but now the wheel is completely flat. That is a very high quality wheel, but you can hear how much run out there was at the very top of that uh, versus the rest. But 
you know, the pro model comes with the diamond dressing wheel. Uh, these wheels do last a very, very long time. You're not going to have to go replacing it very often, even in a professional environment. You don't have to worry about getting a diamond wheel or anything like that. But uh, with that, we're going to go ahead and clock our ring in there, uh, make sure that we're happy with the, uh, uh, the gap, make sure that it's parallel to the wheel, and we're going to go ahead and take another 10 thousandths off that ring. Okay, I've loaded in the ring. Uh, it is just starting to make contact. I've got the indicator set up at 10 thousandths. Uh, just going to go ahead and do a quick test pass. Uh, I think I'm going to probably do 5 thousandths on the initial hit here. Make sure I'm happy with you know, the contact pattern over here and then we'll uh, come back to it. Okay, just to see where I'm at, uh, we are at 26 thousandths right now, so we're going to want to go about another, oh, let's just go ahead and call it five, six thousandths. Uh, notice that the machine is very, very easy to set up for a wide variety of rings, and the gaps are absolutely parallel. Uh, it's going to be a very, very nice setup here, and uh, again, just have to take another six thousandths out of it and see if we hit our number. Okay, we've reloaded the ring. Uh, we're just starting to make contact. I'm going to walk that back out a little bit. I'll re-zero as soon as I start to hear it make this sparkling sound. Okay. Zero our indicator. Uh, again, I'm going to take another four thousandths out to actually hit my number this time. There we go. One of the things that you can't really tell on camera, but this motor is extremely smooth in operation. I mean, it just it just hums awesome. All right, so we're gonna come back and see how close we got to our 32,000 target. Yeah, that's a tight 30. I'm gonna take another 3,000 out of it. And there we go. That's it right there, 32 thousandths. So the nice thing about the indicator here is it's super steady. The needle doesn't, you know, vibrate or bounce. The entire machine is very well balanced in terms of the motor. Uh, so it's just a joy to work with. The best machine I've ever used. Uh, and again, we have made in the USA, many different colors. You know, match your toolbox, match your shop, match your car. You know, we've, we've got them all. But uh, yeah, you're gonna love this machine. All right, folks, so we got a chance to put both the ring filers through their paces. We've got the Summit Pro model uh, ring filer here and then the Summit USA 1 ring filer here. Uh, very, just made in the USA, superb quality, accuracy, speed, second to none. This one has an optional dial indicator on it, you know, just a $21 indicator. But boy, it made the job just very, very smooth. Uh, able to hit numbers without having to guess, not having to go back and forth, you know, between the engine and ring filer back and forth. Uh, but again, heirloom quality type of parts and tools for people that love their tools and are looking for a great value. Uh, for more great tools and parts like this, be sure to come to our website and be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell.